into real estate but don't know where to start? Well, what I would say is to join the Future Cash Flow Club. It's a community of investors where we talk about wholesaling, we talk about creative deal structuring, buying houses subject to, all of the creative stuff that everybody's talking about. You don't need a real estate license or any of that. Wow, where do I sign up? Well, I would say go to futurecashflowclub.com. That's futurecashflowclub.com. You can even get a free trial. Try it out today. Can you hear me? I don't know. If you don't know who I am by now, I don't know what you've been doing. You been sleep? Let me wake you up with something. Straight up. Yeah. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the O-E. I flip houses, rent cars, and make money. You know I'm not no motherfucker dummy. This how we do. Hey, what's up? Hey, it's Chris. How are you today? Who is it? This is Chris. I was calling to follow up to see, did you ever get the house sold over in uh, Pagedale? Oh, yeah. A long time ago. Oh, you did sell it? Okay, that's good. Just saw it. It was in my follow-up. Thought I would check back with you. Uh, were you selling any other houses right now? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm look. Well, I'm trying to buy some people something. So, what Chris? Uh, what Chris are? Because I know. Uh, yeah, I was. I was, a, I was a Chris that sent you over a referral for people to get loans. You were asking about getting some loans. Oh, oh. and you are Chris. Are the guy who, play, who went in vacation and uh, talking to you? So uh, connected to Lisa or what? Uh, which Chris are you? Yeah, I was a Chris you spoke to about selling that house over there in Pageville, but I guess you ended up selling it. Um, and you were asking about getting loans for other properties. Mm -hmm. I just saw so you what, what, what? here, so I just thought I would reach back out to you. And it seems like you got it sold, so it looks like you're all squared away now. So you're looking for yeah, something else yeah. to buy, is that correct? Uh, yeah, I have to go to buy another one. Yes, that, uh, that's true. Well, did I talk to you before? I mean, yeah, did I, I talked to you a couple times. Before? I even text you as well. If you look back in your text from the same number, I text you the information from uh, some oh, lenders. Right. So you are a kind of lender as well, right? Yeah, you were asking about some lending on some properties or something, and I just sent you a referral for somebody that could help you out. I sent you the guy in California. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the guy, you're like, yeah, you send it to the guy in, in California. Yeah, yeah. Great. Did he get you taken care but, of? Or? No, you have to give the, these guys, you have to give them a kidney, you have to give them the liver, you have to give them the heart. They were asking for so many things. So it's not, it's not, it's like you have to apply for properties for certain things. And it's not, it's really not, uh, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they do more yeah, long term that. loans. I, you're probably looking for more like hard money loans or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he gives money to the people who doesn't need it, you know. So that's that's uh, just like Regions Bank or US Bank. You know? Oh, really? I'll say I use them to do so, a, to do a cash out refinance. So I don't know. Well, nevertheless, you are still looking to buy. You want to be in that same area, or you'll buy anywhere. Yeah, well, I'm like, you know, Paysville, UCT area, all that um, kind of in that area. What about over like uh, Velda Village, Beverly Hills area? Oh, yeah, yeah, Velda C. I like Velda C. I renovate a house for some friends of mine uh, in Velda C. Yeah. On the Colonial. Oh, so okay. I'm, um, I, yeah, so I do a property for them over there, you know, so. Yeah, I actually uh, grew up over there. I actually got a. Uh, Somebody I'm about to call back here in a little bit. They got three houses they want to sell over there. I haven't spoke to them yet, so I don't know what they want or anything. For them, but I'll, uh, if it looks like something interesting, I'll let you know about it. Okay. Well, so now I think you 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 got me to that guy over there and um, um, uh, with the Californian guy. Then um, I think I got your number from from like the, the agent, like from Joe, right? From Joe. Uh, um, you got my number because I called you about a house you had you were trying to sell I think maybe for sale by owner or something maybe 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let me take a look because I I spoke with so many people there and I don't. But I think by voice I can recognize. It. So then you said, yeah, call this guy in in California. So uh, I was talking to him. He was so nice and everything. But after that, says, well, we don't do loans uh, under two hundred thousand or hundred. Yeah, they gotta be a yeah. yeah, they have some uh, guidelines which he didn't. I I couldn't do it, you know. So. Uh, yeah. But the least, you know, he seems like he's a nice guy. He responds to me very quick, and you know, so. Uh, but uh, but you are here in St. Louis. Right? I'm here in St. Louis. Yeah, I buy and sell real estate here. Uh, we just bought one over in Maryland Heights. I'm working on right now. Oh, is it high? Okay. Well, maybe I call you because I, after all, I bought that property, like uh, the other property. I, I bought another property, so. I uh, probably one of these days, maybe you just come to see what I'm doing, so you see what kind of product I put. So in the in the near future, maybe we can do some business together. Maybe you're gonna be like uh, so, but you can be like an, a a, a loan uh, guy, right? You can do like like a harmony lender, or you don't yeah. do that. I'm pretty much connected on all parts of real estate. So I understand how to buy it, sell it, get loans on it, cash it out, flip it. All of that. Yeah, okay. Okay. So. So yeah, uh, I'll just get back answer. here. I'll uh, I'll check with you because we actually have a real estate meetup coming up soon. You want me to send you the information for that? Yes, please. I'll send it to you via text here. I'll let you get going. I got another call coming in now. Okay. Okay. Good deal. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Yikes! What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe. And I'm right back at you with another real estate video. Today's video is being brought to you by futurecashflowclub.com. Get more training, more in-depth knowledge, and actually sharpen the skills to pay the bills at futurecashflowclub.com. So I'm making some calls today, and I'm going to see uh, who else I can reach. I got a... Uh, couple of people I need to speak to so uh, some of them are follow-ups and some of them are kind of fresh I'm gonna do these follow-ups first let's see what's going on with Luna and why she didn't sign my contract Miss Luna or oh, Lena I call her Luna her name Lena Lena Horn come on Luna there she goes Lena let's see why she didn't sign my Thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. Hello? Lena, this is Chris. How are you today? Oh, all right. Did you get my message? Uh, you said you were going to the library or something. I did. Oh, okay. And I sent you an email. Oh, an email? Let me check. One second. Yeah, I think. I didn't see that. How are you doing today? All right. Staying um, cool. It's either email or cell phone. I can't remember which. Uh, yeah, I don't see an email. Let me check here. Uh, no, I didn't get an email from you. You didn't. <laughs> no, it could have went to anybody. Uh, what was it talking about? Uh, you said something like a thousand, a hundred thousand now, and then five years for three hundred dollars per month. Well, see, I'm I'm going I'm going to be away. I, I I'm leaving, uh, and I won't ever come back. Oh, that's uh, not a problem. We can send it to wherever you want. So what we do in situations like that. We just set, set it up on an auto payment and it goes straight to whatever account you want it to go to or wherever you want us to send it to. Well, I I don't know. How, well, I, I did the same thing, but every time I do something, it's like $45. So I, no, it won't more. cost you anything. We pay any fees that are associated with that. You get No, you, it costs you. It will cost you $45. Yeah, that's not a problem. buy something overseas. Forty-five is a lot of money every month. Well, can I tell you a secret, Lena? Yeah. We don't pay forty-five dollars. We do enough business where we don't pay anything for that. 
<laughs> we have a lot of payments coming in and going out every month. So we just put it in the system, oh. set it and forget it. Uh-huh. Can you do it within a year? Um I mean, so so we structure it that way. It could probably be sooner than what we put on there, but we just like to put a buffer on it so that we can uh, do it. That's the thing. That's the reason why we were able to increase your price because you were able to put a little bit of time on it. Oh. So it might be sooner than five years, but we just like to draw it up as that at a minimum. It probably would be sooner though. Usually we get people cashed out sooner. Yeah. Um, so once that well, I, so yeah once well, they, I haven't, go ahead yeah I was just going to say yeah once that DocuSign is uh, completed we can go ahead and start moving forward and get you set up for a closing date and uh, get this thing behind you and get that $100,000 sent over to you immediately oh uh, I haven't talked to my son yet Okay. Let's see. Today's Monday. Yeah, today's Monday. Uh, hey, Chris, I might. I. I'll be able to see him maybe tomorrow night, and I can give you an answer Wednesday. Oh, okay. I thought you already spoke to him and said it, it was good to go. No, I haven't talked to him yet. Oh, okay. Well, that'll get you yeah. a big chunk of that money pocket right now. Uh, get it to you say your daughter yeah. needed it for something is that correct right right yep that'll help her get those loans that she has paid off yeah paid down at least yeah. to where it's manageable and she won't yeah. pay all that uh those uh -huh. extra fees and things but other than that did you yeah. have any other questions for me before i let you go uh no <laughs> So yeah, just let me know what no. he says or whatever, and we're ready to get this thing going because we should have actually had it done by now. Right. The way it's taken out is probably oh. going to be after the fourth of July uh -huh. before we close. Oh, uh huh. Okay. All right. Thanks for calling. All right. You have a good day. Yeah. Yeah. You too. Bye bye. bye, -bye. That's my fake smile. You gotta have a fake smile. So that's Lena playing around. So that deal is something I've been working on for about three months. I'm actually already under contract with her. We've been under contract since May. And this is what June coming up into July. So uh, I sent her an addendum to extend the closing date and change it from an all cash deal to a terms deal. We had it under contract at $130,000 cash. And I sent an addendum to change it from 130 cash to $141,000 on terms with a $100,000 down and a $300 a month principal payments only for 60 months or five years. A five-year balloon is basically what it is. I mean, it's going to pop and uh, that's what we're going to do with that. So hopefully uh, she signs that contract. We actually are going to take that down ourselves. And we're going to do uh, some creative financing with that. But more to come on Miss Lena if it does go through. What do you think about that? Post in the comments. Let me know. And we'll be on the go. So for those that don't know, my name is Chris Monroe. This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. I'm out of St. Louis, Missouri. Started wholesaling in 2018. I also started creative financing deals in 2018. Buying houses subject to the existing financing. Um, and I hit the ground running, never stopped since. Been buying houses ever since. I've never used my credit to purchase a house. Um, I've never had my credit report pulled to even buy a house. So that's what I teach you how to do. We don't use our credit to buy houses. You can use your credit for the rehab and things like that. But as far as mortgages, no, I don't put mortgages in my name. We buy houses creatively. We use private lenders. And I go deep into the wells in all of that right there above at futurecashflowclub.com. So check that out. Get you a seven-day free trial on that as well. Futurecashflowclub.com. So on to the next call. Let's call Trevor. Trevor, he already got the contract. Well, let me pull up his contract because he was saying he had some questions about it. So I want to at least have it pulled up so we'll know what's going on with him and why he hasn't signed it. So for Mr. Trevor, we're buying his house subject to for what he owes on it 
approximately fifty thousand dollars and uh he has a tenant in there a section eight tenant paying 950 per month and that 950 per month uh is not bad because the house payment is around three something a month i don't remember offhand but it's cash flowing about you know a nice little penny so we're trying to take that down subject to leave the tenant in place and get him out of this house the reason he wants to sell is because he, he doesn't want to deal with the house anymore even though he's not really dealing with the house he's basically going to sell it uh, for what he owes on it but i'm gonna give him probably a thousand dollars anyway just because i always like to give people something for the house i don't i have bought them to where we didn't get anything or give them anything but i typically like to give the seller something if we can so let me pull that up mr trevor the contract Trevor. Um, waiting for others. That's what we're on, right? And that's the property on St. Cyr over in Jennings. So let's call Trevor. Hopefully he can uh, speak because I usually would like to text him. But uh, let's get him on the phone and see if he's home. Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share if you care. And we're in there like that there. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're... Trevor. I should have texted him first, told him I'm about to call him, but I didn't. I got him and I got another I got another set of leads coming up as well where they got three houses all right by each other. I'm going to call him or them after I try to reach out to Trevor. These are people that I'm trying to get to sign the contract now. The fortunes is in the follow-up. So that's why I have to follow up and uh, try to get him to the finish line. So this guy here has been, uh, and you might've saw the initial call I did with him. He sent me over the mortgage statement. As a matter of fact, let me pull that up while I'm waiting to call him back. Bye-bye. So he sent me the mortgage statement, looked like this morning. And since I said I didn't know the numbers, now I do. So it looks like he owes approximately $50,009.04. He has an interest rate of 4.5%, 4.5. I couldn't get that as an investor. I'd be looking at 7 or 8% probably these days here in uh, June of 2024. Uh, the payment, uh, it looks like the payment is actually 430. So I thought it was three something. Um, let's see here. Principal payment is $78.10. Interest is $187.53. Escrow, which is taxes and insurance, is $164.72. So the regular monthly payment is $430.35. Um, so yeah, 430 bucks a month is what the monthly payment is, uh, according to his mortgage statement. So when I do these deals, I like to have the seller send me a copy of their most recent mortgage statement so we can underwrite it and know for sure what is their monthly payment are they current are they behind um, things like that so that's why i like to always get a mortgage statement uh he has an escrow balance of negative two thousand ninety six dollars i don't know what that's about um negative i guess that means they paid insurance no i don't know maybe that's what it is yeah they pay the insurance so that's why it's a negative balance um, other than that, it's with Guild Mortgage, and it looks like that's what we got. Next payment is due July 1st. So that's what we got. Mr. Trevor, let's see if we can reach him again after all of that. Hopefully he can answer the phone now. He told me to call him today after 3.30, and it happens to be after 3.30. Hey, Chris, is that you? Damn. Answer. Hello? 
Hey, Trevor, this is Chris. How are you today? Hey, doing good. How are you? Another hot day in St. Louis. You know how that goes. <laughs> all right. Yep, just finally made it in. Been running around all day. How's your day? Been? Oh, gotcha. That was good. Good, good. good. So, so, yeah, I was just trying to get back with you. You said you had some questions or you needed some help with filling out the uh, purchase agreement. Well, not really fun. I was just getting some, well, I, I can kind of fill it out on my own. I was just kind of going through since I finally got that uh, mortgage uh, statement over to you. I was just just kind of uh, going over one more time about the uh, whole uh, the situation. I, I, I read through there that it's normally like a seven to 10 year process that y'all do, which I, I'm fine with, but I was just trying to clarify is that that's how it normally is. Normally, yes, because we usually keep them for a okay. while, and then we either sell them or or cash them out, um, cash out refinance. Gotcha. So. Okay, and um, I think it was contingent, ba- or I guess that's the word it was, um, contingent based on like an inspection, or you just need like a simple walkthrough, or do we need to have the tenants out? Or oh no, we're going to keep the tenants there because I know they just signed a lease. We don't want to take them out. We want to leave them right in place. Oh. We do need a simple walkthrough just to make sure everything's good there. Um, takes maybe 10 minutes, if that. And uh, once that's okay. done, we do all finish all the paperwork. We have this thing closed up for you here in the, okay. in the next oh. few weeks. Pretty easy. Okay. Sounds good. And then you pretty much just match the uh, um, the mortgage payment, right? And you, you take over the you, do, you take over the insurance property taxes, or does that stay under me and I have, you'll just pay me? Yeah, that's a great question. So typically what we would do is at the time of closing, we would have a brand new insurance policy created. We would add you on there as an additional insured since that loan is still there. Okay. We get a new policy, add you as an additional insured, and uh, everything could be good from there. We'll set it back up in escrow just like it already is. And uh, we cover all, all expenses, everything that deals with that house. You won't have to do anything with it whatsoever going forward. Uh, we paid a tax. Okay, so literally, okay, so literally just the loan amount, not that's about it. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Yep. We okay. Um, over, and you don't have to deal with anything with that house anymore. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, I, I'll. I'm not at home right now to look at it, but I'll. I'll get it sent over to you tonight. I finally got some time to spare, so I'll, I'll get that over to you and. Um, uh, after we sign that, what is the next steps? You want to do the inspections and all that before we finish up paperwork or we have more to send over? So once that's done, we can schedule a time with your tenant to do, like I say, maybe a 10 minute walk. We won't even take that long, I don't think. Um, since they're living okay. and everything's, you know, functioning since they just got in there. Quick walkthrough. Yeah. Um, once that's completed, um, we'll just be waiting on title work to be done. And uh, we get the last closing document set up. Uh, you will have to send over a copy of the lease, I believe, as well. Um, okay. It's just paperwork after that. So it's really easy, to be honest. The hard part okay, is and, pretty much done. Oh. Okay. Uh, do you need me to be present for the inspection? No, you do not need to be present. You just let okay. know that uh, new property management is coming or something. And uh, we go look at okay. the property and we make it a smooth and easy transition for everybody. Gotcha. And uh, are you able to do it on weekends? I think I might ask you that, but it's been a minute. Yeah, we're flexible. We'll work with them because we, that's why we have such a long inspection period because I don't know when we can get in. Because they don't, you know, okay. we might get in this weekend or it might be this week or next week. Who knows? So we're really flexible on gotcha. the tenant. I know you got to work with them. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will get a hold of them uh, tomorrow and then I'll get all the paperwork over to you tonight. Perfect. Other than that, any other questions for me for now while I have you? Uh, no, I, I might text text over. If I do, I'll just text over to you. That's okay with you. Yeah, that's fine. You can but take the call back anytime. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll get on that then. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Thank you. Bye. There you have it. We have a verbal commitment twice, but you know we need that black ink on white paper. That's what we're looking for right now. The contract, the paperwork makes the paperwork. So once he signs that purchase agreement, we'll go ahead and schedule a walkthrough with the tenant. I would have them go ahead and send over a copy of the lease. They just signed a lease, so it's a brand new one year lease. Section eight, uh, it'll break down what is the tenant paying or section eight paying all of it, or the tenant responsible for a portion of it. Either way, we're good because they just moved in there. We would think they're good. Uh, we inheriting the tenant, 
and uh, we just have to get all the paperwork and everything set up to do a smooth transition. We will close this up probably within the next two to three weeks um, and then get those auto payments from Section 8 over to our account so they can pay us every month auto payment. And this is going to be my first Section 8 property, by the way. I don't have any Section 8 properties. I don't even do traditional rentals. But if I buy a house for what he owes on it, closing costs only maybe a thousand bucks. You know, closing costs plus a thousand bucks. I'm probably out of what, 1600 bucks on a house? I don't have to do anything that's cash flowing. How many of them can you buy? If you could buy a house for say 1500 bucks a month or 1500 bucks at closing, how many houses could you buy? Put it in the comments. As many as you can find. So that's what we do, buy houses creatively. Um, he's willing to do it. You see he's there, he had a few questions. We make sure to answer all objections or questions at the time. And uh, once he signs that contract, we get him over the rest of the closing documents, which is gonna be um, the documents that go through the title. It's gonna have a, a, a power of attorney or a limited power of attorney to deal with the affairs of that property. And some other closing documents letting him know that, hey, this loan is staying in your name and the bank could call the loan due, but they probably won't. We're gonna close it in a trust you know, I love to close my deals in a grantor revocable trust, not a land trust per se, but you can call it that. You hear that word thrown around a lot, but many states don't even recognize land trust. I think it's only like seven states that recognize land trust. So we do a grantor revocable trust here in the state of Missouri for state of planning purposes. And uh, that's what we did. We use a warranty deed to, uh, the document is called a warranty deed to trustee. That's the document he's gonna sign at closing that's going to be notarized that it's recorded on public record to show that he transferred from his name to a trust then the trust will now own the property that's one document that gets recorded on public record the second document is called a trust agreement that breaks down the trustee breaks down the beneficiaries of the trust breaks down all the details of your trust that document goes in your filing cabinet at home in your file proof state that does not go on public record which does not show who actually owns the property. So nobody would know that I own that property just like all the other properties we own across St. Louis. All they see is a trust home. And so that makes it kind of harder for people to skip trace and figure out who owns it. Now you can still kind of find out if you really, really dig, if you're really, really serious. But in real life, if something was to happen at that property, say a fire or somebody slipped and fall, the only thing that could come under attack is the trust not me personally as Chris Monroe, not any of my LLCs. But the way we structure our deals, we close in a trust and the beneficiary of that trust is an LLC. Now we have anonymity and asset protection. Anonymity and asset protection. So we have layers. And so it's just a good way that we like to close these properties up. So give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share if you care. Hopefully Trevor gets that contract signed tonight so we can get the deal rolling. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So now we're going to call uh, these three leads. Let me check something real quick. Mm, camera going crazy. These people doing a trash clean out at at the house in Maryland Heights. Looks like they got most of it out of there. Sweep it up. Broom swept. Uh, let's see, nobody text me. Oh, he sent a picture. They cleaned it out. Perfect. They cleaned it out. I don't know if you can see it. Well, I could show you. Let me see. Can I show you? Can I show you? Cleaned out the driveway. If you can see it, it was all trash right there. Probably about an hour ago. They cleaned it all up. Let me uh, ask this dude. Um, wait a minute. What did I do with the dude's name? Oh, here it is. Okay. What is the sale to send payment? So yeah, I'm just waiting on them to send that back so I can pay for them to fall off the trash. So this house can cost me 
uh, what, over $3,000 in just trash. We paid $480 on the first trash bin. Then I had about another, I don't know, seven or $800 in labor. What's that? 800 plus 500, 1300. Then them dudes just charged another 1100. It's a lot of money, man. And just trash. Just trash. That ain't kind of a rehab, the demo, and all this other stuff. So that's the thing when you try to fix these houses. It's always unforeseen expenses. But we're going to get it done one way or the other. So let's see who we got next on the chopping block. Let's call who April 6th. So this is kind of a cold call. I guess we can call it a warm call. Let's go here. This is for poor Otoria. What kind of name is that? So this lead came from a referral. And don't underestimate the power of referrals, ladies and gentlemen. People can get you connected with people. Let people know you do real estate. Let people know you are out here doing this business. Because if you don't, you're going to be wondering how that happened. Why don't get no deals? You got to let people know you exist. Is this the same number? Oh, okay. Petrora and Don. So these are the people in Atlanta. So this lead came from a baby shower I went to about uh, back in April. Yeah, back in April, went to my first, was that my first baby shower? I think my first baby shower ever. I don't really go to baby showers. Why would I be going to a baby shower? I ain't got my babies. Um, this he sent me. Um, yeah, so the first uh, one second. Give me one moment. Let me send this guy a payment. Hold that thought. Are you looking for the best dialer to reach your leads? Try OnlineBurnerPhone.com. You can reach four times more contacts per hour and build a stronger, more engaged pipeline. Now, when you check this out at onlineburnerphone.com, you no longer have to listen to voicemail recordings. Once you hear they pick up by voicemail, you simply press a button and it leaves your personalized voicemail for your prospect. You can also send personalized emails. You can also retarget your contacts. And guess what? All calls are recorded and tracked for quality and training purposes. Try it out today with no credit card. Onlineburnerphone.com onlineburnerphone.com Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for you real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre-foreclosure list and don't forget you gotta find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. So I want to get into real estate, but don't know where to start. Well, what I would say is to join the Future Cash Flow Club. It's a community of investors where we talk about wholesaling, we talk about creative deal structuring, buying houses subject to, all of the creative stuff that everybody's talking about. You don't need a real estate license or any of that. Wow, where do I sign up? Well, I would say go to futurecashflowclub.com. That's futurecashflowclub.com. You can even get a free trial. Try it out today. 